The present research can be considered as a proof of principle study focused on the determination of chiral pesticides using supercritical fluid extraction instrument coupled online with an enantioselective supercritical fluid chromatography trouble quad mass spectrometry, namely the Nexera UZ instrument. To the best of the present outdoor knowledge, this is the first description of an online approach for the simultaneous extraction and determination of chiral pesticides. Pesticides are a heterogeneous class of contaminants that presents a wide difference in both molecular structure and chemical characteristics. Many commercial pesticides, approximately 25% of the existing agrochemicals, are characterized by one or more chiral centers, leading to a high number of enantiomeric form. It is well known that enantiomers of a chiral molecule can possess different activities. For example, metallaxyl and, and benalaxyl are two chiral fungicides. However, for both substances, the R enantiomer shows an activity almost 1000 times higher than the S enantiomer. Moreover, the degradation of pesticide enantiomers in the environment can be also enantiospecific. Considering again metallaxyl and benalaxyl, the R enantiomer shows a faster degradation in soil with respect to the S enantiomer. In view of such a perspective, the use of racemic mixture of pesticides should be reconsidered. In fact, the use of enantiopur pesticides would lead to a great reduction of the amount of pesticide released into the environment. Cannabis sativa is an herbaceous plant belonging to the Cannabace family. Its cultivation dates back to very ancient times. In particular, the plants were cultivated as a fiber crop for the production of textile, and seeds were considered as bioproduct and intended as animal feed. Recently, several research papers reported the high nutritional value and potential functionality of hemp seeds. This novel food is now considered as a functional food thanks to its composition in nutrients. An equal amount of protein, carbohydrates and lipids, about 30% of each macronutrients and 10% of insoluble fibers characterize the chemical composition of the seeds. Moreover, the protein present contain all essential amino acids and lipids are characterized by the presence of, of 80% of polyunsaturated fatty acids, particularly linoleic and alpha-linolenic acids. This aspect lead to a re-evaluation in the use of hemp seeds in human nutrition, encouraging the cultivation of industrial hemp. As reported by Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, in 2019, the world hemp seed production was 148 thousands of tons, and China was the world largest hemp seed producer with the largest harvested area, followed by Russian Federation, China, and Ukraine. Emphasizing a large and worldwide use of the hemp seeds, and of course, as for all derivatives of vegetable cultivation, could potentially contain pesticides. The method can be considered as a proof of principle study and is focused on development of environmental friendly online analytical method, supercritical fluid extraction, supercritical fluid chromatography, trouble quad mass spectrometry for the characterization and the enantioselective determination of chiral pesticides in hemp seeds. In such a respect, metallaxyl, benalaxyl, and dimethenamide were searched for nine hemp seed sample belonging to four varieties of cannabis sativa. The selected varieties are registered and listed in the European Union Plant Variety Database and are certified to contain less than 0.2% of THC. The scheme of the employee instrument is here reported. Starting from the left side, you can see a rack changer where you can put up to 48 samples. Uh, then you can see the heart of the system, that's the supercritical fluid extractor. Three different uh, pump. The first one, the supercritical fluid pump, and then other two pumps that allow us to modify the extraction. So you can employ a different solvent with higher polarity 
to increase the extraction of more polar components, and also a third pump connected at the end of the analytical column in order um, to improve the MS ionization. Then you can see a column oven, a back pressure regulator, and finally the triple quad MS. The animation shows how the instruments work. During the standby position, both the CO2 pump and the modifier pump flow through the analytical column, the back pressure regulator, and finally is directed to the MS without any split. After all, during the extraction mode called the static extraction, by the switch of the first valve, it is possible to divert the flow coming to the CO2 pump and the modifier pump in order to fill the extraction vessel. The extraction vessel can also be heated up at a temperature of 70 degrees in order to improve the extraction efficiency. At the end of the static extraction mode, by switching also the first valve, it is possible to transfer the extracted analyte from the extraction vessel into the analytical column. This step is called the dynamic extraction mode and probably is the most important one because uh, we should be able to transfer the analyte from the vessel into the analytical column, but we also need to focus the extracted analyte into the head of the analytical column in order to achieve a good separation into the analytical column. At the end of the dynamic extraction mode, both valve back to the original position, and thus the interflow is again entirely directed into the analytical column, the back pressure, and finally into the MS spectrometer. In first instance, the SFC parameters were optimized. Two different stationary phases were employed, the CO2 and the methanol ratio, different flow rates, also back pressure value, makeup flow rates, and the oven temperature. Once defined the best SFC condition, standard solution of herbenalaxyl, SD metanamid, and herb metalaxyl were analyzed to assign the identify of each enantiomer. Considering both benalaxyl and metalaxyl, the S enantiomer is the first to elute. Vice versa, the R form of the metanamid is the first eluding enantiomer. Eight extraction methods were tested using different extraction times, sample amounts, temperatures, and co-solvent amount. In all methods, the static extraction time was three minutes, while the dynamic extraction time was only two minutes. In this slide, I reported the final condition employed. I would like to emphasize that the total extraction time it was only of five minutes, considering both static and dynamic extraction. And I would like also to emphasize that only 900 microliters of methanol were employed for the entire extraction, thus leading to a quite green extraction method. The illegal conditions were here reported. The SFC flow was 1.8 ml per minute using only 3% of methanol. Uh, also, in this case, I would like to emphasize the very small amount of methanol, less than 600 microliters for the analysis. Thus, considering both extraction and analysis, the total organic solvent employed was about 1.5 ml for each sample. The best recovery value for all the compounds of interest was achieved using 50% of methanol during a static extraction. A sample amount of 35 milligram and the temperature of 40 degree was employed. The increased recovery observed when reducing the sample amount can be addressed to the higher amount of solvent inside of the extraction vessel. In fact, the use of only 100 milligram of sample filled almost completely the vessel. In this case, the vessel volume was 200 microliter. On the contrary, the use of 35 milligram of sample allowed the introduction of more than 100 microliters of solvent into the vessel. The influence of the temperature can be considered irrelevant given the similar results obtained. Finally, a great influence can be attributed to the amount of methanol employed. In fact, the use of 50% of methanol during static extraction 
allow quantitative recovery of metalaxyl and, and between 50 and 60% of both benalaxyl and dimethenamide. The choice to use dynamic extraction step with 0% of methanol was uh, related to the necessity to focus the analytes at the head of the chiral column. Moreover, the use of 100% of methanol during static extraction negatively affect both peak shape and, of course, the integration process. In the present vessel, I reported the scheme of the workflow. The seed sample were only greened in a mortar until obtained an homogeneous size uh, of the sample. After 35 milligram of greened seeds, were loaded into the extraction vessel. And finally, it was only need to put the extraction vessel into the uh, SFE SFC system. Here you can see the SFE SFC analysis of the synthetic mixture uh, of pesticides, the single enantiomer, and an MC spiked uh, samples. With regards to commercial benalaxyl, the products present on the market are composed by both racemic mixture or only the R enantiomer, commercially defined as benalaxyl hemp. The SR ratio uh, of benalaxyl um, found in sample 3 was about 2 to 1, excluding the use of benalaxyl hemp. It can be hypothesized that the SR uh, ratio of benalaxyl racemic mixture could change during the ripening and the storage of the plant. According to literature, this is probably due to a different plant metabolization rate of one enantiomer compared to the other, resulting in a more marked bioaccumulation, or to a different amount of the two enantiomer in the soil. The tables here reported show some figure of merit, so the limit of detection and quantification that in all cases uh, was well below to the uh, limit reported by the European Commission. And also uh, here are reported the results of the nine analyzed samples. Only in one case, in sample three, uh, the benalaxyl, it was detected, uh, but it was detected at a level lower compared to the maximum residual limit reported by the European Commission. In conclusion, uh, the online nature of the system, for sure compared to offline approach, drastically reduced the extraction time. In fact, once again, the total extraction time was only five minutes. Considering the SFC runtime, it was quite fast. In fact, the total runtime was 12.5 minutes. Also, I would like to emphasize that the online nature reduced the risk of sample contamination and also sample loss last but not least improve run-to-run -run precision. Considering both extraction process and chromatographic run, the developed method uh, <coughs> runtime is 17.5 uh, minutes and less than 1.5 milliliter of methanol were employed for each run. Excellence in science, Shimazu.